look, um, you've been in a great relationship for almost seven years. And was it love at first sight? A lot of times these good relationships start off where it's like, I didn't even like him at first. Right. <laughs> that's, exa that's exactly what it was. I did not, I wasn't looking for love. I, I just, um, I don't know. He just won me over somehow. He's so, that Q is just so much fun and so loving and so attentive and um, does most of the right things most of the time. <laughs> Now, when you say most, what does he do that gets on your nerves the honey, most? Honey, honey, baby, what do you do that get on my nerves? Breathe, breathe. He said breathe. No, that's not true. Well, when uh, you went on all the time, like the little things, you're like, do you have to eat again? Yeah, no. Well, more so for me, it's his body noises, the noises that come from his body. <laughs> it's it's quite annoying sometimes, but I mean. We had to actually seek um, counseling for that. <laughs> we had to seek counseling. Do you have more problems with more complaints about him or does he have more complaints about you? I think he has more complaints about me. Okay, what's his number one complaint about you? Baby, what's your number one complaint about me? Backseat drive. Watch him out. <laughs> so you were backseat This is my interview. Um, <laughs> um, no, he says I'm a backseat driver. Are you? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Okay, so you know what? Admitting it is the first step. Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm blessed. This is definitely a blessing from God, this relationship. Um, but, you know, it, it has its moments, <laughs> especially during quarantine. Yeah, I was going to say, because that, that magnifies things, right? Because no one's okay. going on the road to give you a break. You're not yeah. leaving to go do something, a booking. You can't, right? Yeah. So what's, what would you say? I know, and we're going to talk more about love goals later on, but yeah. what would you say was, is your guys' biggest obstacle in your relationship? Um, we don't see eye to eye on some things, especially when it, I, I, this was definitely a test. This quarantine was a test because I'm a very private person. I'm very internal. I feel like um, it's best that we, you know, stay home. Mm -hmm. And he's a hustler. He's someone that has to be out and he has to make his living and do what he needs to do. And I feel like um, it's dangerous out there, mm -hmm. you know, almost like don't go out because um, it's a threat. You know, it's a threat to our, our love. It's a threat to our lives, our health. Mm -hmm. um, we have children, you know, I feel like, you know, that's our biggest fight. He feels like he has to get out and do what needs to be done to, um, well, he's a man, you know, they're, they're, he's a they're man. for that. And I understand that. But um, we've, we've actually almost come to a point where we were going to separate. Because, what? yeah. And your wedding is coming up, right? Is, is the wedding still on? The or wedding is postponed. Um, we, post, uh, um, we had to postpone it due to COVID, but we moved it back one year. So we're, we're instead of um, moving it um, anytime soon, we moved it a year away. So, so y'all were about to break up? Like, what was the thing? I, I gotta be nosy. What was well? The we weren't gonna break up. We were gonna separate. We were gonna be in two households because um, he feels that he needs to go out and do what needs to be done, and I feel that it's quarantine time, um, right. just for safety purposes. You know, so just you take it more seriously, and you're no, you take it more seriously, and he's more lax. Yes, that's how and we are. Look, I'm and I show him statistics. I send him messages of what Dr. Fauci said. I send him the CDC and the WHO and all that, just so he knows the latest. <laughs> I point all that stuff out to him. Wow, you sound like ours. That's tough. yeah. I'm the more reckless one as well, as you can You're imagine. Reckless? Are you the reckless one? We did go to the casino last week, but I had a mask on most of the time. I had a mask on. That's right. You do love to gamble. I know that about you. <laughs> so what casino did you go to? We went to uh, Windsor. No, uh, Choctaw. Well, we went two weeks in a row. So one okay. week we went to one. So you, you two are on the new season of Owns Love Goals. What made you sign up to do it? And were you nervous? Because it's reality TV. You have your right. relationship out yeah. there. Well, we got... First of all, I'm a very private person. So it was, it was a lot for me to even consider doing it we had gotten a couple calls that came back to back and you know I talked with him about it and I, I figured that you know we're about to walk down the aisle but what is there what is the issues there because I don't want to get married and then 
figure that I can't stand you, you know what I'm saying? And then get a divorce. I want to be with you. And if you want to be with me, what is their underlying issues? What are they? So we had the opportunity to do it and meet with um, spirit. We were afraid of how it would, you know, how it would really be because, you know, reality TV doesn't often highlight us in a good light. You know what I'm saying? That show did. I felt, I watched the show and um, I know a few people on there know Spirit. I thought it was, I was impressed because it wasn't ratchet. The people that chose to be ratchet could be ratchet if they wanted to, but I felt, well, you may have a different opinion. I mean, you were on it, but it didn't look like you were exploited. It looked cool. I was <laughs> grateful for that. That it, was, that it was cool, that it wasn't something that, you know, we normally see when it comes to reality TV. It was really, um, it was very pressing. It, 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 it was very intense. Um, only, you guys saw the show from what it was, you know, for that one hour, but we actually spent two weeks in that house with, um, with Spirit. And we had lots of sit downs and we had lot, lots of, um, you know, um, interactions with each other. So I got to meet the other couples and it, it was a great experience for me and Q. We learned a lot about each other and about each, each of us individually. And we just, it was a good experience. Did the other couples and their issues and arguing on the show make you be like, damn, we don't really have it that bad. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Dean on Althea, they were arguing a lot on the show. The minute we got there, yeah. the minute we got there, we was like, oof. We just took a back seat, to be honest. We was like, um, they didn't really need us as much as... <laughs> 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 we, we actually just took a back seat. You know, the other couple seemed to have really needed um, Spirit's help. And, and that's okay. You know, there's different dynamics when it comes to um, your relationship. You're not going to be the same as someone else. You know, Did you recommend that show for other couples to go on? Do you think it was a good experience? Do you think it, it, it's helpful? Oh, yeah, for sure. Very helpful. You, you absorb so much. Spirit is the bomb. I'll say that. Yes. I just wish I had more quality time with her. Um, you know, because, you know, of course, Benzino um, and Althea needed, you know, more of the attention yeah. there because of their situation. but. I saw one episode where you, your thing was trust with your fiance with Q and he had to guide you when you were up high on that. Uh, oh yeah. The climb up that thingy. So what, what's something you had to overcome is, is, is trust an issue for you? Was that something you had to overcome to feel, you know, like free in your relationship and feel good about it? More, more my issue um, was more with me. Um, I'm a very, like I said, I'm a very private um internal person and I don't share things in my relationship that I probably should more. I don't share my emotions as much um, because I don't, I have to get it out of myself. So I went and figured out that my voice is literally stuck. Um, something could go on and I, and it'll just sit right there. I, I don't know if you would, even can understand, can, can grasp that, but some, communication issue I was having um, for years for, for through relationships, costed me relationships. And I- um, So you feel like you haven't been able to- to find my voice, huh? Have you felt like that's been an ongoing problem, not being able to express yourself? Oh yeah. yeah is, it a, is it insecurity? Like, are you afraid? Um, I don't know if it's an insecurity. I can't say what, I, I couldn't say what it was. I just- Felt I felt um, I felt inadequate. Did you yeah. have your dad around in your life? I did. You did. Okay. My dad made me feel like a princess. Wow. My yeah. dad made me feel like a princess, but it's when I walk, w walked out the door into this cruel world that I realized some. So yeah, there were trust issues, of course. There were. I, think from for the most part communication learning how to communicate learning how to let go learning how to say fuck you learning how to say you know i don't like that no um all those those things that um you need to let go to release you hold them in doesn't do anything but internally stress you and 
can in turn kill 